Hey guys, Lane here from Maker's Lane. Today I'm gonna build some recycling bins. A friend of mine, she owns a hair salon. She has to recycle paper products, plastic, and metal. So she has these three cardboard bins. They look a little something like this. She just did a big remodel and everything else in, in her shop looks super nice, super fancy. Well, these kind of stuck out a little bit. So she asked if I could make something for her that was cheap, inexpensive, but still looked really nice. So today I'm gonna to build those four. Uh, what I'm gonna use, the bulk of the materials is just gonna be these two by fours and these cedar uh, fencing boards. Both of these you can pick up at Home Depot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna build the frame out of, out of two by fours, and then I'm gonna wrap it with these cedar planks. So then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I cut all of the frame, except for I'm gonna have to make some runners across, but I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to do it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my the outside of the frame and I'm going to put it together. And what I'm gonna do, take my uh, dado blade and cut the thick half the thickness of the two by four out of both pieces. That way they sit flat on top of each other. Once, once these are flat together, I'll go back through and cut a slot out so that this can fit in here. So it'll be a slot in the top part here. So this top square, I'll just, and uh, then I'll do the same thing on the runners except for on the bottom. So that way it sits in here, but it'll actually be out of both. You'll see it when it's done. Unfortunately, I don't have a guard for the dado blade that's like thick like the dado blade, so I just have to be really careful. All right. Oh yeah. Got to buckle up for safety, mother. dried up, I'm gonna cut a little notch in here and a little notch in here so that they sit on top of each other. I'm gonna do the same thing down here at the bottom. Okay. All right, so that's it for the frame. I ended up adding some extra supports 
on obviously the outside that's going to be so that the pieces of board don't have to spread this entire section here and I can actually have some support in the center to uh, attach it to. And then also I added these side pieces in here. That's for the trash cans themselves because if I didn't have them then when they went down they could get cockeyed and then they get hit. So I went ahead and added those so that all the trash cans will be up. Basically they're a guide for it. Um, so that it can go straight down in there. So the next part I'm going to put the outside pieces on. All it is is going to be these cedar pit boards. I'm gonna just put them on the front here. Not really that complicated, but it, it should give it a nice look. But actually before that, I'm going to spray paint all of the inside part black so that it'll just cover up any mistakes that I made. That way I don't have to go back in with wood filler. So let's go ahead and start spray painting. All right, so I realized two seconds after I started painting, which I should have just stopped, that I'm gonna have to repaint this once I have the sides on because I'm gonna have to spray the sides also. So I'm gonna have to go back and spray again. I'm all out of spray paint right now, so I'm gonna have to go get some. We can still at least put the sides on. I got everything, this top part. I made sure I got all this top part so that I didn't get an over spray on the front. So at least that's done. Now I just have to spray on the inside of it. I did wanna take a second to mention these little attachments. I bought it off of Amazon. It was like $10 for two of them. I bought it thinking, ah, it might be cool. It's probably chintzy. But this is, I mean, it's just this little piece here and it just pops on top of your spray, any, 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 any spray paint can. And it just pops on top. And it's got a little mechanism in here that automatically pushes down on the thing. Like it makes this spray paint so much easier. You don't get stuff all over your fingers. I feel like you're more efficient because you almost have like a like, like a stock. I, I, I don't know. I just purchased these. They're awesome. Definitely a need in your shop. So I got all of the sides and everything put on. I went ahead and sprayed the inside black all the way. So now the whole thing on the inside, including these side pieces, they're all black. The next thing I need to do is add things here and I'm gonna use more of this cedar board and then basically, basically it's gonna be a frame with a hinge on the back to lift up so it'll make it a smaller square so you won't be able to see this black two by four. And that way you can pull the trash cans in and out and they, they, won't be, uh, they won't be stuck in there. So I gotta make three of those. They will actually, I got a prototype here. They will actually look like this. That's how it goes on here. So that's what it'll look like. And then it'll just open up. So it, it hides, it hides everything. So you can't see anything. So I gotta make two more of those. And again, it's just the cedar boards. I cut 45 degree angles. So I just gotta make two more of them to put onto here. And then I will hinge, put two hinges on the back. I have them, two hinges. So, so I'll put these on the back here. And then the very last step will be to put like plastic, metal, and then paper. So yeah, let's go ahead and make the other two up, put the hinges on and then we can put the wording on the back here.
these are all attached now. I actually went back through and uh, put a little bit of a routing edge on them. And then I also sanded up everything to kind of just give it that finishing touch. Basically it's done. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some decals. So these will, these will go right about here on the front. That way they know which, which bin's which. It's just a little added detail. All these are is heat transfer paper. Uh, you cut them out on a silhouette and you just apply heat and some pressure and then they stick to basically anything. I'm gonna just add these and then we can go take them over to my friend's work and put, put the stuff in them and show you what they look like all finished up. So let's go ahead and put these on there and then we'll take them there. exactly what it's supposed to. The main function is to get rid of some unsightly trash cans and I think it does a great job. If you guys have any questions about the project just hit me up in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah until next time I'm Lane for Makers Lane. You guys have a good one.